What's up guys, Michael here, coming to you with another video. In 2013, DJI have released the first consumer drone. It was called Phantom One. It was a huge success and over the years they've released a huge amount of consumer drones. The latest being DJI Air 2S. Now, the DJI Air 2S is replacing DJI Mavic Air 2. So the dropping Mavic part and leaving it just for the Mavic Pros. However, as you will learn in this video, DJI Air 2S really has huge potential even for professional usage. So a few days ago I've received Air 2S Fly More Combo, which is an extended version with huge amount of accessories. We're gonna open this box together, I'm super excited. We're gonna review what's inside, we're gonna look at the details, and I'm gonna give you my honest thought on who this drone is really for. So you may be on the lookout for a drone and you're not sure whether you should splash on this model, which is the latest and obviously more expensive, or maybe it's better to go with a cheaper model, maybe Mini 2 or Mavic Air 2. That being said, let's get started. So first things first, let's unbox this bad boy. Now that's better. So that's everything in the Fly More Combo box and let's see what actually it comes with. So the first thing I guess is the controller. So it's a typical DJI controller, nothing new up here. We have the sticks that can be very easily hidden at the back here. Also power on, you have to press and hold it to turn it on. Press and hold it to turn it off and you have three modes, so cinematic mode, normal mode, and sport mode. We can also see that you have a custom button, which you can assign to. We also have the slider here to change the angle of the camera. And you can also have the photo kind of recording mode uh, within the button, so that's pretty handy. Also, you slide this part up and you can actually fit your phone up here and inside you can see there is actually a cable here. So you have to plug in your Android or iOS and that's where the cables comes in. So it actually comes with a USB cable, with an iOS cable for your iPhone and the USB Type-C as well as micro USB. So it should fit pretty much most of the phones. So that's the controller. It also comes with a spare stick. So if you lose one of them, not to worry, it's gonna be in the Fly More Combo kit. So the next thing we should talk about is batteries. So with Fly More Combo kit, you have three batteries all together. Lithium ion batteries, three and a half thousand milliampere hour. That allows you for 30 minutes of flying time. It's pretty cool. That makes it one and a half hour of flying time for these batteries. Quite a lot, to be honest, and I think it's more than enough for, for proper flying. What the whole pack adds as well is this charging hub that allows you to charge three batteries. Now, it's not simultaneous. From my experience, once I'm charging them, it's actually charging one of them at a time and then once it's finished and fully charged, it's gonna charge second one and third one, which is not super convenient. I thought that the base would be actually charging all of them simultaneously, allowing me for a faster charging time, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Now, they also have these kind of slots here, metal slots, and during one of the charge, it's very easy to actually damage or break one of these or bend it. And this is what happened to me actually. And I had to straighten it up. So something to be very mindful of that one of them was slightly bent when I bought it. Another thing is the charging cable. So we have a quite a, quite a hefty brick here. And it's pretty cool that it has the ending 
that's in the same shape as the battery and the charging hub. So you could either charge one battery individually via this cable or you could plug it to the charging hub. Now there is also a USB plug up here so you can plug your controller at the same time. Something to mention is that DJI have also added this little gadget which is creating a power bank from your battery. Let me explain. So you actually plug that in so you can see the battery has these slots and you can actually plug in your that power bank adapter it's nicely sitting here and you have two USB slots so you can actually charge your phone on the go or wherever you require we also get a lot of different cables so that's for controller with the fly more combo kit we also get some extra ND filters so up here you can see four filters that's gonna give us a four stops lower eight stops 16 and 32 stops obviously this is more for cinematographic looks and for someone who's interested in creating some really interesting movies and effects in your drone footage the next thing is the blades so you can see there's two extra pack of blades and this is more than enough i think you get one pair of blades for the drone and you get two extra spare ones which may come handy at some stage so you also get the bag the bag is pretty nice i have to say it's solid it seems waterproof material uh, so it's really really elegant and it seems to fit everything tightly and the drone itself so where do i start <laughs> uh, first of all it looks it looks awesome it's not as heavy as it seems in fact let's wait it so we got 603 grams which is within the specification of the box now we can see a couple of things here when we turn the drone around we can see the sensors so these are the bottom obstacle sensors we also see the front and the top sensors and we have sensors back sensors as well there's no side sensors so this is something to be mindful of let's just take off this protective cup now something to mention is that this cup it doesn't come off it comes off easy but it's harder to put it back in so you have to be very very gentle and this is our one inch sensor 20 megapixels camera it is a beauty it's really awesome it can go 90 degrees down and you can have really interesting footage you can calibrate it if needed okay guys so let's summarize this drone and let me tell you who i believe this drone is for personally i've never had a drone so this is my first drone i flew it a couple of times already and i can tell you this this is super solid in the air i had no problems whatsoever flying it it was super easy initially the first initial setup was maybe confusing but once i took it off and i had the controller i found it the whole process was fairly fairly easy it takes a little while to get used to all the prompts messages on the screen that you get of your dgi app however within maybe 10 15 minutes of flying you're you're fairly comfortable that the drone's not gonna fall on your head or somewhere on someone else's head or on the ground so in that regard I'm, i wouldn't be too worried to recommend it to a beginner that being said if you're not into photography or you may be just kind of a casual person that, that like to have some footage but not necessarily use any video editing programs i don't believe this drone would be necessary i think you definitely do with mini 2 or mavic air 2 but the mavic air 2s would allow you for extra kind of detail and information 
and formatting options that the others want. So in terms of editing videos, I think this, this drone will definitely do it. Alternatively, you could go higher, so Mavic Pro 2 would be the next option. Now in terms of camera, I'm not sure, but I believe the Pro 2 has similar camera and sensor to this. So I would expect even similar results. So this is actually cheaper than Pro 2. And for the price of the normal Mavic Pro 2, you could get the fly more combo. So would I give it to a beginner? Definitely. If you're on a budget, I would consider maybe Mavic Air 2 or Mavic Mini 2. If it's something that you require for maybe commercial usage or possibly for your own kind of project and would be using video editing programs, I believe this is a, a perfect choice and you would not be disappointed with this. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments what information I've missed or what you'd like to see in terms of other videos with this drone. Please also like and subscribe to this channel. It means a lot to me and the algorithm on YouTube. I will see you in the next one. Cheers.